Yo, dudes. What is good? I hope everybody's well. We are just getting things started right now. We have a couple little things to make sure we have set up. And then we'll be all good to go. Huh, well that's not good. We uh, gotta make sure our mics have batteries. Should we put up a starting soon? Or should we just go for it? This. What's the best way to hit the small glass in the back? Why would you hit it? Don't hit it. Daniel Reyna, Daniel Reyna with the 10. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Must a master. <laughs> Thank you. Was that our newer cars harder to tint than older cars? No, older cars are harder than newer cars. We're spoiled now with easier cars. Not all new cars are easy, but in general, most newer cars are much easier and will take less time, less dirt to deal with, and uh, usually just the window types, they made them easier. My car is a fishbowl, then get it tinted. What's up, Daddy Tinner? <laughs> it's never been so true. Did I get a new car in the background? Uh, it's a that's a old Civic I'm trying to sell, but I'm not actively trying to sell it. <laughs> Go pro. Why you do this? Why you update date and time? It constantly is telling me to do that. Set manually. I've done it. So we'll do this again. To the moon! Yeah, not yesterday, unfortunately. It's, uh, it held even, went up, came back down, consolidation, it's looking strong, it's only a matter of time, yesterday was not the day. A lot of interesting theories about yesterday, but. There we go. There we go. All right. The head mounted monstrosity is up. I need a 
Daniel Rayner with a five. Yep, them old cars I I remember. Yep. I don't I didn't I didn't go back super far, but I started like 2009. Those those ones were still relatively straightforward. What's up, Fade? How you doing, buddy? Tint whiz with a rocket. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Oh, I should say this is a ceramic job. Can I edit the title? Is that too late? <laughs> I'm going to see what that does. We'll see if some of them will update. I don't know if they will. We're going to do five on the back and 20 on the front doors. So we're just making sure everything's all set up here. Um, we kind of just got to jump into it. I think the last thing that I get to do is set up the tank, make sure it's got the proper amount of slip. Um, for the most part, oh, really? The, the title changed. Oh, good deal. Thank you, YouTube, for allowing that. Have you ever done tractors? No. No, it does not interest me either. One. One. Hmm, it does work. Ooh, stimulus checks. Is that working? That working? That is working. Good deal. This is like the last thing that I have to do. We get the rolls there. I just want to freshen this up a bit. <laughs> Should post in just chatting to get more viewers and maybe a hot tub. Just chatting. Category on Twitch doesn't matter as much. Ooh, I need a sink here. Super chat. I gotta see what that is, but thank you. Sorry, I'm sure the mic. The, where you stream on Twitch doesn't necessarily matter very much because there's so many people in just about every category that nobody's gonna find you in anything. Oh my God, they just keep coming. Wow. Miguel, Miguel with the two, thank you, no message, and LKB, LKB, what's up, brother, with the 10, it's good you can make it to this one, all right, that, and then we need to do this. Should be good, that's about right. How much soap do you put? About that much. I think. These are the, th this is the thing about five gallons. They're heavy. And then we need the air. So I gotta throw this in the back room really quick for a couple minutes and let it, let it fill. That should be good. Cannon. It is heavy. It's a five gallon tank. Uh, I give tractors two prices. Ew. I just don't want to do a tractor. I'm not attracted to the tractor. Mmm. 
get coffee. I was running late. I was running late this morning. It's late, but I'm still running late. That's filling up. <sighs> LKB with another 10. Buddy, you can comment without super chats. Thank you. Uh, how's the family life coming along? It's good. It's, uh... We're, we're getting into a little bit more of a groove. Because there was a there was a not a lot initially with the baby and like us just getting used to that and you know baby waking up very often crying no sleep they they're definitely not kidding about no sleep um and then just everything else that had to be done too and then random things that would pop up uh but things are going well now we're trying to plan for a bit of a vacation we have to run out to Chicago for a few days to renew a passport. We can't do that digitally, so we actually have to go there. But we want to plan for something else later. There's been like time off with the baby, but there hasn't been a vacation. So we want to set something like that up. These ones. Do you put fresh water daily? Not daily, but there was the car we did on Thursday, and then it sat, and now we're in here Saturday, um, and we're doing ceramic, so we'll make sure it's definitely fresh for that. I'm ordering glass aid later. Cool. I appreciate it. I think this is like tugging on my hair. This is like the easiest. So if I put this mic, this isn't the active one right now, but if I put this here, this goes like this all the time. It's just like you lean forward and it flips and then it's But glasses, man, I tell you, look, and whatever. Who cares? Clean the trigger filter too? Nah. Have you ever done a Nissan Titan? It's an older SUV, isn't it? Or is that a truck? There's like the Armada. I remember the Armada is a big SUV. The Titan. That's got to be their truck, right? It's, I, I haven't, I wouldn't remember exactly what it's like. It's been a while. Yeah, I don't remember the the Titan. I don't think I've had one in in a long time, so I couldn't help you on that one. Let's make sure this is this is shook. Pro Nano? That is that says it funny. Instead of Pro Nano, it goes Pro Nano. <laughs> Geo Pronano. Pronano. <laughs> Canon. Do I look like I have too many things? Do I look like I'm. I feel like it looks like I'm running behind. That's okay. Most of this is a GoPro, anyways. We still have not got a haircut. That's okay, though. We're suited up. We're going. We're going back to the future. I feel like I just hit a button. I hope I didn't. We're going back to the future, Marty. Uh, GoPro. GoPro. Oh. This. We're forgetting. We're going back to the future. GoPro. There we go. That's what we want to see. Can I ask what the tanks are for? The tanks are when you really take it seriously. No, they're, uh, they're really good spraying systems. 
This thing is so clean already. I like this. Good deal. All right. So let's go ahead and prep this. This thing looks like it is right off the lot. Video looks pixelated on GoPro. Uh-oh. That's no good. Why would it look pixelated on just the GoPro? That doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense to me. better now. It could be just YouTube processing because there's not as much that needs to be done when I'm standing in front of a camera but when the whole thing's moving. Uh, however, we did have bitrate issues last time. So I have no drop frames and we're streaming at 1800. I don't know if I can bump that up but I don't really want to try right now. So Have you ever layered tint? Uh, yeah, not much, but a little bit. I've gotten that question a lot lately. Maybe because tax season? It's not a question I usually get. So you can, the problem is just warranty. So whoever you're tinting it for, you just gotta let them know, like, yeah, I can tint over it, but I can't be responsible for anything that happens. Because I don't know what's on the car. And it may fail. All righty. Oh, I should, uh, they're waiting up front. Cannon. They're waiting up front, so I'm just gonna text them a link to the video. Let's do this. How do we share? Isn't there like a... Where's the share button? Oh, there it is. Chat's covering it. Get out of here, chat. I should have a TV in the front. Yeah, but I want to put a TV in the back here too for, so I can read more comments or something. <laughs> GoPro. All righty, so ceramic. We have already got our ceramic because we pulled it out of the 60 inch boxes because this is one of those things that um, it got shipped in the 60 inch boxes, so sometimes I misplace them. So I have both my rolls ready to go already. And we are gonna get started. I think we still need to put the key on the car though. We gotta run, see that right there? Like the way that it's on the glass, like beaded on the glass? All the water sitting in your tank or the hose uh, still has to run through to the fresh stuff. So that's a good way to tell when you've hit fresh water or new soapy water. You'll start to see it beating up differently. These are long hoses. See that now? A little bit smoother, a little bit soapier.
Alrighty. So let's get this party started. Woo! Temp party. So we're going to be doing 20 on the front doors, 5 on the back. We have the back glass mostly prepped. Uh, just the inside that we're going to have to clean off. The one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't quite messed with my slip solution and ceramic yet. So let's cross our fingers and hope everything goes well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's always a little bit more pressure with ceramic. Zero is like, wanted to look the best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Double five? No. No, I've done like factory. I've done five over factory, and that all that comes close, but never, never just double five. I haven't unlocked that achievement yet. That's for crazy people, but that's okay. I had five on my front doors. I pulled it off pretty quickly. It was just a little bit too much for me personally. But there's this period of time that you start looking at like, you know, you look at your windows, you're like, ah, oh, I wanna go darker. I wanna go darker. I wanna go darker. I remember what that's like. And then I had like, I started with like 35, went to 20, went to 15. And really there's no, there's no real difference between 20 and 15. But then when I got to five on the back, it's like I have no problem with it on the back. But front doors, I was just kind of like, I had it on. It looked great. Checking where my seals are. And then I sat in the car. I didn't even pull it out of the bay. And we had some bright lights in the bay. And I go to look out of my windows. And I'm like, I can't do this. And I'm out. Oh, cool. This is locking in place. That's what we want to see. Good deal. So when we shift this back down, key, key, we forgot the key. That's key. What? Have you done an, oh, a Honda Civic hatch? Yeah, the hatches are way different than, than these. These ones are really straightforward. Uh, the hatches, though, uh, have the spoiler in the way. So... I ended up just buying the glass. So I can cut it and shrink it outside the vehicle. That's still sitting at home. I need to bring it here. What are we doing? Did we not turn it on? One more? One more. Really, window lock? They do, they do both. You learn, you learn these things as you go. Window locks, I know, uh, depending on the manufacturer, sometimes they'll only lock the back, not the front. On Honda, though, I'm gonna remember that. Make me look like a crazy person. Where did you buy the glass from? Oh, you can, uh, any uh, auto glass shop can sell it to you. <clears throat> and it's not expensive. It was like 160 uh, from where I bought it from. Well, I mean, they probably sold it to me at their cost, so. But it's because I know them, so, you know, get the little hookup on it. I feel like this shifted a little bit. Did this shift? Because this is definitely weird. There we go. Let's clean that up. But yeah, it's not hard to get. Uh, it was 160 for me. Um, it was uh, at aftermarket, and I will. I noticed um, the 
the car that I put it on, so I've only had one Civic hatch that I actually had to use it on so far. The one that I actually had to use it on, it, the shrink on the bottom was a little bit off. So I still had a couple things I had to fix on the inside. But that, I don't know if that's because it was aftermarket. It could just be from one piece of glass to the next. Because I'm sure there's some little variance between all of them when they get them done in the factory. Not big, but enough. But I, get, I definitely got to bring that in. Anybody scream blurry? That's the second time I've heard that. That's no good. That's definitely no good. Um, Canon, let me try something really quick for you guys because we're not getting any drop frames right now. Um, let me try to bump it up to 4,000. Give it a second. Hopefully this doesn't crush my stream. There, I upped the bit rate and we're not dropping frames. So last time I came in to do a stream, we were dropping frames at 4,000. That's normally where I stream at. So I'll hopefully clear it up a little bit. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, good. Uh, GoPro. What is five over 20 change with the tint? Uh, the the percentage. <laughs> so before I had this crazy setup, it was like way pixelated. I'm gonna save this guy. Much better? Okay, good. Yay, that works. So we know 2000 we can get by but it doesn't look great. 4,000 is ideal, but if my internet is, is wonky, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. It happened with the weather change. It's so, it's more consistent on the better side of things, but every once in a while, I'll come in, I'll do a stream, and it'll just, my bit rate is not there. I've had them come out, I've talked to them. Um, they've told me the issues on their end. They're not ready for live streamers. So I have, uh, I have 900 megabits down, but that only gives me up to 40? Up to 40 up. That makes me sad. I had to buy the top tier just to get 40 up. It's kind of a joke. Uh, it, so I have copper, but their infrastructure, they say that they have some fiber lines and stuff, but those fiber lines would get changed over to copper, so. Yeah. <laughs> I 
It's, it's extra sad because I have the same speeds at my house and that costs 80 bucks a month. And because this is business class, they jack the price up three times. So this is 240 a month. Isn't that ridiculous? And when I plugged in the, my own modem, they were like, when I, when I plugged in my own modem, it said Xfinity. So I called Xfinity and I was like, yo dog, can I get, can I get Xfinity? And they're like, no, sorry, you're in a business building. So you need to call our business department. I'm like, no, don't make me, please don't make me. Oh, fun fact too, if you have Comcast business and you go to cancel the service, like let's say you're out of contract, right? If you go to cancel the service, uh, they require a 60 day notice even though you're out of contract. A, a 60 day notice. Or they will stick you with a bill. And you're like, uh, I, I, I can't use it where I'm moving. I just, this shit's crazy. Are you also an aviation mechanic? Uh, I finished the school, yeah. But I didn't finish the actual AMP. So AMP license <clears throat> are something you have to keep up to date. So you, every so often you have to retake some tests and stuff. Um, I actually didn't go through the A and P certification test because I kept tinting. So I have a graduate, but it's basically worth an associate's degree from the aviation mechanics school. And then I just didn't, I didn't take the A and P test at the end because I wasn't gonna go be an A and P. I thought it would be very cool too. It sounded cool. And then the more, when I was getting, so as I was taking aviation mechanics classes, I realized how much of it is just, here is uh, what needs to be fixed, and then a lot of paperwork on top of it because they're very strict, which makes sense. But when the recruiter came in, he was like, you could work on airplanes. And I was like, that sounds cool. And then it, it's just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's mechanic work. So for good reason, I just was like, I, it sounded more fun in my head. And then as I was going through it, and then they would have lots of time wasters in class because so to be an AMP mechanic, it's really about being in class for a certain amount of hours. So they require a certain amount of hours to like let you take the certification test. Um, so they had these time waster classes that was like, okay, here's a plexiglass window. Then they took a hook tool and they went, Grrr. they put a giant gouge in it. And then we had to sand it for like a week. That was, that was ridiculous. And then after the class, they're like, yeah, you probably wouldn't ever have to do that. They'll just order a new one if that ever happens. It's like, oh, thanks, boss. Okay, cool. What the fuck? Cannon. Whoa! Whoa, did somebody get a ceramic job? Macaulay Jones! Oh, I like your profile too. You are like professional AF. Uh, I began tinning a year ago and have watched hours and hours of your videos. This is just a small thank you for everything you've taught me. I'm completing, uh, I'm completely booked out for three weeks solid as of now. Fuck yeah. Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That's a, an enormous super chat. 
And uh, congrats on the work, dude. That's awesome. Booked out three weeks solid. Fucking clap it up. Can I do it like a clap emoji or something? YouTube, you got. <gasps> oh wait, I don't even have these enabled yet. Oh, how do uh, I gotta get you guys these? I didn't know I could use them. Look, I have. Tint Studio emojis. I have to enable memberships to make it available to everybody, though, apparently, because I can't just let... Where do... So there's some tint emojis. Where's the clap? There we go. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, I... It locked. It... Oh, there it goes. Did it actually show the mo oh there they are that's fun oh and they're all yellow <laughs> Thank you so much I greatly appreciate it I didn't know I could use my tin emojis already GoPro Thank you very much <laughs> All right we parked my toolbox on my cord. So now we gotta shrink some windows. Twenty on the windshield and five all around. No, twenty on the front doors and five on the back doors. And the backlash. Always the backlash. Yeah, so YouTube has this, uh, I'm sure you've seen it on channels, on like other channels. Um, they have memberships, but I don't like put private videos and stuff like that up. So, um, but I do want to get the emojis so I can set them for the emojis, but I have to make like an intro video and stuff. So I'm like almost there, but I made those all the way back in like summertime. I just saw them that I could use them and I'm like, Oh, I didn't think I could use them. I thought I had to enable memberships first to use them. Because who doesn't want tint emojis? But I realized that they're all yellow. <laughs> you got a shank, you got a Wagner heat gun, and then a flat out. I was like, oh wait, we went through a yellow phase, didn't we? We need some green. We need some more colors. We need like a tint whiz purple tri edge too. Also used, oh. Also have my own tint studio and drum studio. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds fun. I wanted to be a drum, like I wanted to learn drums. So when I was, uh, when I was younger, my parents wanted us to learn an instrument. And they're like, you can learn any instrument that you want. And I was like, I want to learn drums. And they're like, anything but drums. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, that's no fun. So they had us all take piano lessons. And I don't remember much about piano. I never wanted to take the time to learn how to read sheet music. So I was never like, I, I learned everything from uh, like memory. So I'd sit there, I'd figure out what the notes were. I'd go in and I'd make a mess of it. Eventually I'd get a song down, but it was all from memory. but I have no rhythm, so. It's 
because I wasn't allowed to learn drums. We need this guy. We need this guy right here. Been drumming since I was five? Dang! That's awesome. <laughs> it's real easy once you get the hang of it. Just like, uh, just like tinting. It's real easy once you get the hang of it. Just years of practice to get the hang of it. We'll play drums on stream. No, I don't, don't have the dedication slash time for it right now. But it sounds like fun. Oh, we gotta do one more thing. We need, we need the clay bar. We need the clay bar. How worn out is it? It's not very. It's cold though. It's a little cold. So we're gonna warm it up. We gotta set up a sink. Chat, where do we get the liner? Wow, that was dumb. I think I just got my foot wet. There. Let's let that sit for a minute. Cannon. There you go. Thank you, Dom. That's where you get it from. I just asked chat now where we get the plastic from. You know what I did see? I did see a, an electronic drum set for like little, little kids one. And I'm like, I'm gonna get that for my son. And then I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Oh, we're getting a phone call. GoPro. Hello, Detroit Tint Studio. How can I help you? I'm sorry, I'm completely booked up. The earliest I could get you in is Monday. Uh-huh. Uh, with like the full windshield? Um, it, all together it would be 370 starting. That's in my color stable dyed film. Uh, you can mix and match the films any which way. So you can do like, you know, 20 on the front, five on the back or whatever you're feeling. Um, I have a couple of different types of film to pick from, but that's, uh, that's my entry. Uh, with a strip at the top, it would be 290, and then basically the sides in the back, so all the side windows in the very back glass would be 240, so an additional 50 for the strip. Yeah. Um, okay, we go by appointments too, so if you want to set something up, today would be a good time to do that. Um, you can try and call Monday and see if there's availability though. All righty, man. No problem. I have a good one. That is probably not going to happen. Hopefully it didn't mess up my headphones, though. It's the only thing I'm unsure of. Is like, because I use the same headphones to connect to my phone. So what's, what's cool is when I have a phone call, I can just switch over to my phone. Ooh, it does work. Good deal. Are you going to offer any other show? Yeah, I've had four calls today about people that want it done today. It's not... 
my like it can it can work out but it's like it's it's the typical type of I need it done now it's uh I either have people call when I'm busy and not during the week so it's like if you called me on a Monday um like early enough in the day there's a good chance that I could get it done but there's always this like <laughs> they of course they want it done on a Saturday well everybody wants it done now on a Saturday so it like comes to like late Friday early Saturday morning and then that's when you start getting lots of phone calls this is starting to really stick quickly there we go So it depends. Sometimes, sometimes you get lucky, but it's a little unfortunate that, you know, because I would like to tin all the cars. There's only so much time in a day. When you were starting out, what's the best marketing strategy? Uh, just be everywhere you can be. You never know where you're gonna get people. I think the things around here that seem to, to draw the most is like my maps listing. I am not super happy about that because my maps listing doesn't give you videos. <laughs> so, I mean, I got my site listed on my maps listing, so it's like you can kind of direct people that way a little bit, but. Also, I send out the, the tint whiz proposal. And that helps too. Give a really quick, good snapshot of like some of the things that you offer. Oh, I'm talking about uh, sorry. Shh, be quiet. There we go. Just that little bit was over the edge. Yay, that worked out. Um, my map, I'm talking about Google Maps. It's easily, like, when I'm looking for something locally, that's where I go for basically anything. And I'll look at, you know, what they, pictures and whatever they've posted and pop over to the site. But you kind of know what you're looking for. So that's really common with window tinting. It's like when people want window tint, they're just, they'll pop on maps, they'll do a quick Google search, see what's around in the area. And then they'll start making some phone calls. Ta-da! That seemed to go pretty well. Good deal. I was a little concerned with it shifting when I did the cut, because you guys remember I had to like recut that corner. Where's my... Oh, it's over here. Uh, I'm a LLC, and it was really easy to set up. You just, like, you can do something like, uh, what was it, legal Zoom? You just put in some personal information, see if the business name is available, pay them, and then they get everything done. And then they'll let you know about anything else that needs to get done and try and charge you a bunch for other services. You don't exactly know all the things that you need and don't need, so... They specialize in trying to upsell you. Did you see the Jeep with gold factory tint? 
Wait, what? They actually put out, they have a different factory tinted Jeep right now? Oh. That's no good. I'm surprised that they would do that, honestly. Oh. <sighs> no, no I haven't, but I'm sure I'll get enough of them all of a sudden, all at the same time, and everyone would be like, do you have a gold roll of tint? No, and then you get like five more calls, and you'd be like, you know, maybe I gotta get a gold roll of tint, and then you no know more calls. Colors aren't much of a thing anymore. Like, so there's, there used to be more colors and they used to be like, there, there was a handful of options that were manufactured by some legitimate places, but it's all supply and demand. So there's just not much demand for it and it makes your car stick out a lot. So people are especially worried about getting pulled over for something like that. So you can find some like kind of obscure sites that have it, but it's, you're not going to find anything that is like made to last, or at least it's all questionable. But there's a couple of times I did like a gold mirror one. Uh, somebody brought it in and then somebody else brought in film from that same site. And as far as I could tell, like they, they weren't kidding about the heat rejection and they didn't over promise the warranty. They were just like, yeah, it lasts up to three years and it's got amazing heat rejection. Well, a big part of that uh, was the mirror that's in it. That helps with heat rejection. What do you think about ASWF? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Look. I don't I don't get triggered by many film brands. But there's something deep with ASWF that just like uh, you just see like fire in a bad way. It was a bad experience. Uh, just all together. So the story of ASWF <laughs> was like, I don't think the film was bad. Uh, like we were using, we were looking for something pretty economical. So they had Excel and then they had something cheaper than that. And it just looked really green. So we were using that for like a little bit. But initially they were like, no, it looks great. It doesn't look green at all. We opened it, we looked out the box and it was like, Bro, that shit's so green. Uh, and then a little bit later, we started using Excel. And then the problems that we had was just the thing of nightmares. So every, every shipment, we were having like different issues with the film. It was like static was a huge problem with, with ASWF. What's that? Oh, no, I didn't miss anything. So there was, there was a lot of static. And so what that would do is, like, if you have a really staticky uh, film, as you're pulling it off, it's just, like, zapping the crap out of you. And then it has a tendency to, like, roll in on itself. So it had this really severe static and curl. So when I pulled that liner, the film would just start rolling in on itself. And you basically had to fight it. Um, and carry it in really weird ways to try and keep it from rolling in on itself. Like you see how this all just, you know, you pull the liner and then it's all flat. Well, that doesn't always happen with everybody's film. And then we would get the occasional blurry roll of film. There was dye lines in the film. It's just like there's a lot of like random reasons we had to start swapping rolls. Um, and then the static and curl, which was always there, they weren't swapping out the rolls. Like they, and whenever we had an issue, they would kind of brush it off. So it's like it wasn't a huge issue to you if you had like 
you know, it's like, man, I got a whole car I got to redo. And they're like, oh, that sucks. Well, we can help you out with it, blah, 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 just fill this out. And then like, we'd fill something out and then nothing would happen. They never gave us a credit. They never did anything. It was just kind of like sat in limbo. And then every time you ask them about it, it got brushed off. And you'd be like, um, okay. And then you just got tired of asking. And then, sorry, we're going on a long tangent here. And then the worst, <laughs> the worst was uh, the month straight of, of redos that we had to do. Super chat, $5, let's get this party started. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, so with the, um, yeah, with, uh, with the, the film failure, so what we had is everything would look fine. We'd put the film on, this was like early February. Window tint takes a little bit to dry out, especially in colder climates. So what was happening was they changed something about the glue and as the moisture sat on the glue, it would crystallize the glue. And so it looked like you had a bunch of dirt specks in it. And that was with every car that we did in February. And uh, there was a bunch of them that came back and some of them didn't come back, but we know that they had issues. And it's like, what kind of long-term reputation damage does something like that do? But they like, they put off that there was a problem. We like, we got a couple back and we're like, something weird is happening. And they're like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> we haven't heard anything. This is the first time we've heard of it. And then like a couple more came back. And then before we knew it, like everything was coming back. And then it got so bad that other clients were like dropping them and stuff like that. But they didn't recognize that they're, they didn't let us know there was any type of an issue that they were made aware of well earlier on we came to find out. They were just doing uh, really horrible damage control. Just like pretend everything's okay, we're taking care of it, nobody else has this problem, we don't know what it is. And it's like, yeah, that wasn't true. So yeah, I avoid them. I've seen other nightmare posts about them too. Especially if you leave them, they're, then they're just, they write you off. They don't honor any warranties after you leave them. So yeah, sorry, I don't mean to go on a, like a huge rant with them, but it was bad, bad times. Bad, bad, bad. I think we need to get a bigger trash can. Check your super chats. Well, I heard the five. Sound like flex film comebacks. <laughs> I've I've seen long term what can happen with them too. And yeah, that's another one I would I would probably avoid. But there's a handful of people that are very strongly passionate that say they don't have problems, so I'm not going to call anybody. There we go. No, just the one. LKB! Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I just didn't know the name. LKB with the five. Thank you, buddy. And then LKB again with the two. <laughs> Bro, thank you. I appreciate it. You have a bunch of them today. What brand was having the problems? Uh, it was ASWF. Just be careful. Like, okay, so don't just take my word for it. Go in any group, any Facebook group, and just ask about a particular film. You will have a lot of people chiming in on whether or not they had success with the film or not. You can do that with Geo, you can do that with 3M, you can do that with Lumar, you can do that with anybody. And like everybody will tell you their honest opinions about the film. The only things I would like, for, 
In, any, in anything that you ask, though, there's always a couple of people that would be like, I've been using them for 50 years, and I've never, ever had any problems. Those are the things that always strike me as a little suspect. So even with Geo, if somebody's like, I've been using them for 30 years, and I've never had a problem <laughs> with anything. Always take stuff like that with a grain of salt. But, uh, yeah, it, you'll, you'll know really quick if uh, people like a film or not. And then they'll try and sell you a different film. All right, we got to take that sticker off. Da, 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 da. In a cold state, they last. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, that's somewhat true, but uh, my uh, my dad's shop was using flex film for quite some time. Um, and right now he's getting back uh, Panaflex warranties from like, like it turned brown on him, which is crazy. He's getting them from like five years ago. And every film company will tell you the same thing. Oh yeah, that was a problem, but we fixed that. Everything's good now. And then, <laughs> is it? I don't know. Film warranties are tough. And, and, and every company, I think, is going to have a bad run. But it's also how they take care of it, too. All right. You know what I need to find out? I need to find out how they test films. Because they get it made, but they also do plenty of testing on films, too. I, I need to ask about that. That's something I never really asked about. Usually it's the tinners that test it long term. But there's got to be like something else. Like a machine. That they put it through. bit of some dirt stuck up there. I had the most problem with 3M's Black Panther. They have a film called Black Panther? I know of like Crystalline and Color Stable and FX. I've used all three of those. Well, no, no, no. Not, not so much Crystalline. I saw how interesting Crystalline is to work with. Crystalline had a really interesting look in the sun sunlight, or no, 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 like a cloudy day with some rain. It's got like this red, weird, interesting effect. Super chat. Whoa. Whoa. God damn, you guys are coming in strong today. Go with Guari if you want to get some good lasting products. Most companies are like, yes, 100%. Most companies seem to be sourcing film from either like Eastman or Guari right now. Those are the two most popular ones. I kind of liked Avery being like a 30 year independent film manufacturer too. I like their NR. Uh, whoa, holy shit. Tint Depot, Canon. Tint Depot with the 50. Yeah, he said go with Glory products if you want long-lasting films. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, LKB with the five wackiest color tint you ever put on a car is uh, GoPro. The wackiest that I ever put... GoPro. The wackiest that I've ever put on a car is probably that gold job that we did on stream. I would absolutely love to do like a crazy iridescent job. I'd have a blast doing some of those films. It would make really good uh, Instagram pictures, I think. <laughs> There's like, 
I see there's like one US manufacturer or something uh, for like a couple of those iridescent films, but it's really expensive. And then so you have like the rest of it's like Chinese made. As far as I can tell. But yeah, Guari products, they're, they're a solid manufacturer. And they manufacture film for like some of the biggest brand names right now. Like that's where everybody is pretty much sourcing their film from. But yeah, that gold job. Um, and then they got that from, from a site called Omnique. And I'm like, I don't know for sure. But I have to imagine it's just like some... Uh, film that they found off of, off of like Ali. I used a dryer sheet on this one, but I'll use, I'll usually use dry shrink prep. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you guys doing today? Holy shit. Thank you. Uh, I missed the comment. Let me look at it real quick. Let me finish up this door. And then I'll hit up that super chat. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Somewhere we got disconnected. Oh, you guys don't want to stay all the way back there? Watch from, like, a very far distance while I talk to myself in a corner? Is that fun? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so you can use... Uh, quite a few things. There's some people that use soap bars. Uh, you can use dryer sheets, and you can use dry shrink prep. Um, so there's quite a few options available. All dry shrinking is, is like you spray down, uh, you clean off the back window, and you wipe a material over the back window that helps the film float. So if you just try and stick it, like just lay film on the back window, it doesn't quite grab the glass right. So you gotta put like some type of medium in between there. This one's going well. Oh my God. Oh my God. Cannon. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a $25. Jeez, versatility. Buddy, what is up? Laying that ceramic down, good stuff, man. Have you used Matico charcoal? I've been using it, and it has been green. I would probably avoid it if it's green. I know uh, Max Pro had a really green look to it, but I haven't used Matico. Um, I don't know why they would make their film. I don't know. Like, So sometimes they'll add green to a film because yellow is one of the first colors, one of the first dyes to fade out. So they'll overcompensate with another dye and make it one stronger color. And then over time, it'll look more neutral as it fades. That's not a good sign. So I don't like the fact that it looks more green. Thank you so much for the 25. That is massive, man. Thank you. And then LKB with another five. Dude, you've, you've been, oh, we got to add up. Uh, how much is, is Jesus Christ? Uh, if you had a choice to tint one car from Fast and Furious movies, what would you do? I'd be a pansy about it. I'd tint whatever the easiest one is. <laughs> GoPro. I'm not much of. I'm not a classic car guy. Like I can appreciate them, 
but there's a, there's this level of difficulty that comes with them, and there's also like it's just not something that I specialize in because I just don't get them very often. So every this is this is what happens with classic cars with me. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I heard it. Mohammed with the 20. He said interesting. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I knew, I like had this mental like you popped in my head. I was like interesting. $20. I wonder if that's Mohammed. Sure enough. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. So yeah, I like what let me explain classic cars for a minute. So what often would happen with classic cars is you would find, did he do it again? Oh, no. We gotta, uh... oh, we have this roll on backwards, that's why. So with, with classic cars, what would happen was you get somebody that calls, they have a classic car, but it's not like a restoration. It's kind of like they just have one that's really old and they want it tinted. And usually they'll find like a deal on a classic car and they're not looking to spend very much on the window tint either. So what you end up having to quote them to get it done is like a classic car could easily take up half your day, if not longer, depending on the, the type of car that it is. So it's like, you know, I'd quote, I, like I, I'd hear quotes of like 350 but you can get a couple of regular cars done in the span of that time, and you're gonna usually waste more film on trying to do a classic car than anything, unless you just do them regularly, which I don't. So I'm in this weird, like, I was always in this weird place with classic cars where they just, you, you know, have to overcharge for the amount of film that you're using, but because they're so time consuming, they really need special attention. Most people wouldn't be down with that, so. I haven't done done a lot of classic cars. What was that? LKB with the five, again! LKB, hmm, Frosted Flakes or Captain Crunch? Ah, uh, Frosted Flakes. Definitely Frosted Flakes. I like Captain Crunch. Was it Frosted Flakes or Captain, was it Captain Crunch, right? Yeah, or Cap, yeah, definitely Frosted Flakes. I was thinking Cinnamon and Toast Crunch for a minute, but yeah, definitely Frosted Flakes. We used to get these little mini cereal boxes. The mini cereals, we would always be like, ooh, mini cereals. So like, my mom would only get us like kicks Kix had the most sugar out of all the cereals. She would get Cheerios and Kix. And every once in a while, she'd come home from, uh, from Meyer with, with the little cereal boxes. And I have, uh, I have five brothers and sisters. And there was like eight, eight cereals in one of those packs. And then we would like fight over which ones. I would always get the smacks. Smacks were really good. Smacks and then Frosted Flakes were probably a second. But that was like our one little. <laughs> Where are these super chats even going, buddy? <laughs> LKB. Uh, Nachos, or chi what is it, chili cheese dog? Ah, depends on how fat I'm feeling, I think. I think if, just for like lunch, I'd go with the chili cheese dog, but that's if I'm like, I just feel like eating something that I probably shouldn't be eating. And then you take the fries. You get extra 
chili and then you dip the fries in the chili. Well, not really extra. You don't you, you don't actually have to get extra chili because they usually just fucking pile it on anyways. Oh, that's weird. Manico's been around for a while. They have a good ceramic, but their their char their charcoal doesn't is green. Yeah, I don't know. It's just the way it is with some companies. Yeah, they, they have been around for, like, quite a long time. They're kind of, like, I look at them the same way that I look at Johnson. I just, like, I hear decent things about them, but I just never have actually used them. There's just a handful of those types of companies. So I don't know if I've ever heard, like, anybody ragging on Matico. I think people actually, like, people that use Matico generally like them. But I didn't know that they're green. See, those are those things that you just don't know until you start using it for yourself. The only thing that I've ever seen of Matico is like, they have that picture of like the big corporate building on their site. That's all I know about them. What's the hardest car you've been in? Oh, usually the typical ones that you hear of. So like a VW Bug or a Corvette. There was like, when I was first starting out, there was a, there was a Beretta that came in that just didn't get done. Oh man, that Beretta was like, ugh. And then I'll just flat out turn away a couple different types of cars. So you have the Cutlass Supremes, I don't even bother. It's like, we, <laughs> I see a trend here, LKB, I know it, LKB with a five, Jesus, you are stacking up today, um, definitely a beach house, beach house or a log cabin, definitely a beach house, I am not an up north person at all, there's a, uh, so I'm in, I'm in Michigan, and one of the Michigan-y things to do is to go up north uh, when you have a break. And it's only like, you know, you drive a couple hours up north. But that's like, it's very isolating, and there's cabin-y people that like it. That's not me. I'm not like a city person, but I'm not much of a cabin person. So I would much rather go to a beach, but be on like really, really, really nice warm water. You guys are, you guys are nuts. What the hell? All right, so we got the doors done. I will catch that super chat in just a minute. I just want to make sure that we're, we're still on pace. Everything seems to be going very well. Everything looks good. These, uh, yeah, these Civics are pretty straightforward. We don't have the front quarters um, on this particular model, which is really nice to see. This usually doesn't happen. You guys are just on our tyrant super chats today. You guys must be getting some good summer money then. Oh no. We just ruined a little bit of film. All right, let's catch up really quick. We gotta, we gotta get the rest of this car done. Um, Mr. D Magic with the 10, thank you. Hey bro, what makes older cars so difficult? I want a Chevy Beretta. Also, grilled chicken wrap or salad. I'll take the grilled chicken wrap, please, thank you. And then, uh, what makes an older car so difficult? So you have a couple of things. You have 
uh, they're not very curved, but you have like old butyl seals. So first is a lot of dirt. And second is they don't have ceramic borders on a lot of them. And they really have funky ways that the windows can roll down. So they'll basically just have metal frames. And then sometimes the quarter windows will like just like sink down sideways into the frames and stuff. What the fuck is wrong with you guys today? But yeah, those, those reasons and more. Uh, mostly they're older dirt and just really, really tight tolerances on the edges and stuff that are hard to match up and make them look clean because you don't have anywhere to tuck the film. Daniel Reyna with the 10, or with the five, one more $10. <laughs> LKB, LKB with a five, why do car keys travel more than, than your car does? Why does, because you carry them around? Is this a bad joke? Is, I would just think that because they're in your pocket. Daniel Reyna with another five. Oh, is he going to do a super chat with like the punchline? He's asking you a BuzzFeed quiz and then at the end he'll t tell you what type of vegetable you are. I believe it. I think that's, that's what's happening here. <laughs> Problem with the old cars is the light gaps. Yes. GoPro. Yes, light gaps are definitely an issue. So when you're... Um, oh, we need that roll. Oh, shit. So my sticky did a bad bad. So this grabbed that and I didn't realize it. So we gotta unfortunately say goodbye to that portion. But we need this roll because this is our 20. Yeah, I don't know what's going on today either. It's usually not this crazy at all, but I definitely appreciate it. We don't even have the balloon up. I think it's because people are getting busy again. It's, we've, we've gone past the slow, slow season. We're coming into things getting busier. That's five? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, yes, we are doing five. Did I say 20? We're doing five on the back, 20 on the front doors. So, it's good. But it'll pick up, it'll slow down. That's how it always goes. No, I got lucky today. I just said the wrong thing. But we're definitely doing five on the back. <laughs> LKB with the five. Fatherhood rules. <laughs> It's pretty great. It's busy, but it's it's pretty great. It's cute to see him growing up and just getting a little bit. I'm super chatting because I'm actually awake for the live for once. Nice. Sometimes we get, we'll usually have one on a Saturday. All the super chats are replaying over and over. No, it's not doing it for me. I'm seeing new ones, thankfully. I had that problem before with, with the software I was using uh, and my headset, because it would run into this bug every once in a while where it would reread literally every comment for the past like 10 minutes. Have you on the garage TV? Nice. Hello, shop. That's cool. I need to set one up here. I just don't know where I want to put it up. I think I might, I don't know, I might set one up like right up here or something. Something that's really easy to look to.
So I had that monitor set up. Which one? The little iPad thingy. But that was more so I could monitor like camera switching and stuff. Everybody seems very enthusiastic today. That's good. I hope y'all are busy. I'm in Illinois, but I'd make the drive. <laughs> Chicago is a pretty cool city. It's much cooler than Detroit, honestly. Uh-oh. Wow, where did you come from? Ooh. That hasn't happened to me in a long time. Oh, I... I know what we did wrong. We just, we just toasted this back window. Not with a heat gun, but <sighs> that, that is unacceptable. Dang. Of course, of course it would happen with ceramic too, right? <laughs> so what is the first thing that we did? We taped, I said, this car was very clean. I didn't wipe off the back glass. I taped it and I put uh, I put dryer sheet on it. But what happened was everything was going great, and then we hit one piece of dirt that was way bigger than anything, and we put a pretty sharp little hole in it. Oh yeah, you totally notice. Yeah, that's a that's a big no no. It's a big big no no. But we didn't get very far past where we were, so it's not like we lost much time. But <laughs> super chats made up for film loss. <laughs> True. It's all good. I think that happened in the last, in the last one too. But like, or no, not the last ceramic. But there was one ceramic where it was just like we were getting used to like a soap change, and it was just like, oh, it was brutal. We wasted like three pieces on the back glass. We wasted some door windows. It was a bad day for saving on film costs. <laughs> So keep that, make a note. Always remember, even if your car looks super clean, just make sure you give it a quick wipe off, at least. It just looks so clean, and everything was fine. And then there's that one little thing. And that one little thing is what'll really screw you up. What's, oh yeah, yeah, what's the floor? Yeah, it's called race deck. There's a, there's a few popular ones. There's Swiss Tracks and there's Race Deck. Race Deck, I think, is the more budget option. Um, they're really good, though. They're just hard, super cool looking tiles. And they have these little slats so all the water falls down underneath. So it's nice for tinting if you don't really have much drainage, but you gotta remember too, if you're tinting a lot of cars in a day and the water just sits and sits and sits and never dries out, it will get pretty bad. So, but you, you're you walking above everything. And then every like year, 
you can pull them out of their spot, they're very easy to break down and put back together. You don't have to break them into little squares. You can do it in really long strips. It was on my bucket list for a long time. I was like, I really want one of those floors. How much? Little pricey. Um, like I said, Swiss, or Swiss tracks, I think, is a little more. Uh, the, this was for my home garage at the time. That's why we only have, like, this section. This is the space I was tinning in literally before. Uh, it's a, like, a 400-square-foot section, basically. Uh, it was in the range of, I think, $1,700. It's basically like four dollars per four dollars per for per tile. It's like three fifty three fifty or four dollars per tile. That's pricey. It is. Uh, especially uh, depending on what size of a space that you're trying to fill. So I wouldn't do this whole space with them. Oh, just epoxy? I, epoxies are great. But you could easily spend uh, a lot on a company coming out to do like an epoxy floor. So... Some of them I've seen will chip apart. And some of like the really professional ones seem to be really good. And you can be really flexible with like the colors and stuff that you want to do. So any type of flooring in a garage that's made to last is going to cost some money. But I've seen like the, the home garage where they were doing like some of the, the DIY epoxy kits, I definitely wanted to do one of those. Where's my line? There it is. So you can see we're almost, we're like right in the middle. That's where our cut is. Racedex says four dollars and ninety nine cents for per square foot. Ooh, they've gotten more expensive. There's a good chance that they got more expensive because of uh, the pandemic. So one, you have logistics, um, and two, they did tell me they're like as that like because I got it right right during the beginning of it. And what they told me was their business picked up a lot because people were setting up makeshift uh, emergency centers and stuff. So there's like lots of different use cases. So people do them in temporary buildings and all sorts of outdoor spaces and whatnot. My, f wait, is my floor on their site? My floor's not on their site, is it? That would be cool. If it is, I definitely didn't notice. Uh 
What do we need? We need to do quarters. Do you tint interior dome lights? No, that is not a question I've ever had. Um, what I would do is pull them out and either spray them with like, no, actually don't do nightshades. You'll probably have some patchiness. Get, um, get some taillight tint, something like Lux, and you'd have a much easier time of doing that. I think it should work fine. Oh, and there's a lot of them that aren't very hurt either, so that actually, as long as they're not, like, it, it shouldn't be that hard for you to do, actually. Just never been asked that, so. Canon. Mr. D Magic! I like your username. Uh, man, you're like a surgeon with those steady, steady, oh, I'm assuming you say hands, not have. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks so much for the 10. Wait, can I ask? So, when people super chat, I see a lot of, like, 9.99 super chats. But when I go to super chat somebody, it, like, auto fills to, like, 5, 10, 20. Are people just, like, backing off to 99 to add the 99 or something? I don't get it. Just take out the dome lights? Yeah, or just turn them off. <laughs> yeah, but there's people that put, like, different color bulbs and stuff in there. Thank you so much for the 10, though. GoPro. Hi, my name is Eugene. I'm from Moscow. Thank you. I learned a lot. Uh, learned, learned how to tint the glass from your videos. That's awesome, man. I'm glad they help. Thank you for watching. All right. So if we... On mobile, it's 0.99. On mine, it's, it's not, though. Is it the difference between an iPhone and an Android? I know you can set pretty much whatever number you want, but it's got the like the autofill options. So that's why I'm wondering, because I've seen some tens and I've seen a lot of like 999s and 499s and stuff like that. Point nine nine. What uh? What phone? Is it like the difference between iPhone and Android? Because it's too often for it to be like a coincidence. Hey. 99 on iPhone. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So I can tell what kind of phone you're using from the super chats that you guys give. <laughs> That's weird. It's definitely, <laughs> it's just like, because I've noticed enough tens or like uh, solid numbers at this point and been like, hmm, what is the reason? That is the reason. Because I know most people watch off of their phone. They sent 10, does it say 9.99? No, it, so it did say 10 for you, Mr. D Magic. Uh, it did say 10, that's what made me wonder. Cause it's like, okay, you, you send in 10 and it's an even 10. And then some people they send 9.99 and I just say 10, but on my screen it shows 9.99. Cause like, why would I say 9.99? Thank you for the 9.99. So if we start getting into decimal points with super chats, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Thank you for the 14.32. You know, I hate having to take this out, but we're gonna have to. 
I have a new appreciation for car seats, though. With the baby that I have, <laughs> I have a new appreciation for him. Oh yeah, these don't pull. These don't pull out. Well, that's gonna make this a little interesting. But we needed to free up some space. So we got the quarter windows left and installation on the back window. We are going to take this though and we are gonna just move it over a spot. Let's do this so it doesn't get wet. Oh, we have to take such a big bag when we travel with the baby now. It's like, okay, do we have bottles? Do we have backup bottles? What's that? Oh, yeah, the, the seats do, but the headrests, those don't come out, though. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, though. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, I'm going to hit my... My transmitter, we still good? We're still good. Alrighty, we need clay bar. This is the Honda that you hit up in the middle of your last stream? Yep, 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 actually. Which was super cool. Tint was coming through, like big time. That was so fun, like it was at some point, I got a quote request, and I got to basically take care of the whole thing um, on stream. That was nice. And it's here. Was that the, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the headrests don't come down on these ones. He was making sure that I knew that the seats folded down in case I needed them though. So some people fold the seats down, uh, but what that ends up doing for me was it presses me up too close to like the headliner. And it it's like, you'll free some space this way, which is good, but then you're like crammed up on that. So. I've always learned just to kind of deal with a little less space with a headrest because I, I can have more room on the seat so I can try and get to where I need to go. So we need, we should have got it before, we need a bulldozer and we need a side swipe. So this guy and this guy. And then that should be it. Once we squeegee this off, it's go time. Definitely ch more challenging with all the extra equipment on my head. How do you feel if a customer asks you uh, if they can watch you work? Um, it honestly always made me kind of nervous. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just, yeah, I wouldn't like, I think what really irritated me at like when I was, when I was working at another shop, it was like, I kind of like, I was just the, Tinter trying to get all the cars done for the day and it's like if somebody wanted to watch sometimes uh, it would take up a lot of extra time when you didn't have it because they were genuinely curious and like asking questions and stuff about what you were doing and then if you made a mistake it felt embarrassing and you don't want to make a mistake in front of them right but there was this one time <laughs> There was this one time, like, earlier on, 
my dad, he, uh, I, I would tell him, I'm like, don't, like, they can come back here, like, you can bring them back here to ask, like, a couple questions, but they, you can't just leave people back here. This is a shop space, too. And it needs to be treated that way. And he's like, okay, okay. And then there's this one time, though, that he literally pulled up a chair <laughs> in front of the car for the customer. And it was like, really? <sighs> Good times. Death Star Trench Run. We got headrests in the way. We're gonna make this shot count. We're just gonna fly in as smooth as we can. Ceramic. Big things at stake here. So you get it on the glass and then slide it down and then slide it down a little bit more. Roll up some more. Your dad must be a funny guy. <laughs> he definitely can be. We had some interesting days for sure. There we go. We are where we need to be. Just making sure all my gaps are covered. Now being that this sticks a little bit more aggressively, just be careful with how you squeegee it out. Try and avoid air trails at all costs. Or else we're gonna have to like peel it back a little bit, spray it back down. You did it! We blew it up. Thoughts on Superior Charcoal from Tint Depot? Uh, it's definitely a good film. Comes from a very good place. You will do well with that film. You can definitely trust that type of a film. Uh, and they also, what's cool about it is they back everything up with uh, lifetime warranties too. So it's like, it's more of a retail looking site, but they still like back up all their films and stuff like that. So good products through them. I like them. I gotta get some new tools soon. Pretty much burned through everything that I have. I've been using the Clear Crush though for like a week now. I think I like it better than the Orange Crush. I wish it was a little stiffer, but the material is better to me. It slides really nicely. All right, we just gotta get this. Out. A little awkward trying to push this down. Okay, we can take this off real quick. Uh, let's take a look see before it dries up. So we got that, that, those. Okay, let's take care of those real quick. Where's my... Where's my side swipe? It's up here, some... there it is. How often do you replace your tools? Not very. I'm 
Better than the flat out? No, but it is in other ways. So, if you're worried about like damaging a scratch coat or getting random scratches and like the blade nicking and stuff like that, that's where I like the clear crush a little bit better. With the flat out, every once in a while, it's like it'll either catch something or it'll get like a random scratch. And I don't want to blame that just on the flat out. It's a harder squeegee blade. So if you just use it for an extended period of time, sometimes you might get something on it or it might wear down in a way that might, you know, you're just like go going through a day quickly and then you get a random scratch and you're just like, ah, oh, shit, where did that come from? I mean, the same thing will happen with like, uh, if I'm not being overly careful with some stuff, same thing will happen with uh, like my triad stuff. But that's why they came out with like the smooth it. And then I just didn't, don't use the smooth it because I'm lazy sometimes. But like days can get really busy and you're just like rolling through cars. Lots of in and out. So we need our scrubby, this little guy, and then our long squeegee. This is what we should have used at the beginning. That's how I feel about the Blue Max. Yeah, and I haven't used the Blue Max in a while. Uh, I was using like the flat out the orange crush, the clear crush, then I went to using a Blue Max for a minute. And I was just like, wow, this is actually a pretty hard squeegee in comparison. But the Blue Max, it nicks really fast. Um, it'll nick, it, it definitely nick pretty fast, and it is a harder squeegee too. I like it a lot, I think it glides. Really, really nice. But deteriorates too fast. Have you seen an increase in jobs or a de decrease? Uh, there's definitely been an increase, which kind of sounds weird, like why? But there was like, it was pretty crazy. So there was a lot of, there was like, three, four months of delays on tint appointments. GoPro. Ha, we said four. <laughs> and then it changed. Um, so there was like three, three or four months of delays um, with appointments when, when COVID hit. And like that was at the beginning of the busy season. So nobody could get their windows tinted, but there also wasn't a lot of calls either at the time. So I thought after the fact it wasn't gonna be busy. Once they started letting up on some restrictions, people got used to the way things were gonna be. Um, everybody got booked out for weeks, very quickly. Because you had the bent up demand from before that got pushed off. And then you also had um, just the regular summer rush of people. So it's really gonna be interesting to see what happens now because you, you have two things hitting at the same time. You got tax season now and then you also have stimulus money. So tax season, is, as, as any existing tenors will know, it's just you get lots of calls this time of year. As soon as the weather starts picking up, tax money hits some people, and just the weather starts getting good, people are getting new cars, or just wanting to tint their existing rides, like, it gets busy. and then just the regular summer rush of people. It's not like completely seasonal, but it's definitely got a seasonality to some of the 
the over busyness. But take some of that money. And in the busy season, put some of it away for the winter time. And then try and take holidays if you can in the winter time. What's the soap to water ratio in the five gallon? We did it a little earlier on stream. Uh, I didn't say any exact ratios. I just put a decent amount of soap in. So rule of thumb is always like one ounce per gallon, but I'll do a mix of baby shampoo and Dawn together. Seems to work out better for the films that I'm using. That was like an issue in the summertime, if you guys remember last year, because for whatever reason, some of the adhesives on, on like Pro Classic and their ceramic, they stick really hard. Um, so we had to like, but like we were putting extra soap, but it wasn't necessarily helping with the problem. We were still getting like it to randomly freeze. And then we kind of worked through figuring out Jaybird, like a champ. He suggested Dawn and uh, Dawn and baby shampoo mix, which it doesn't make sense to me. I don't get why, but it definitely helped. Super chat. John D with the five. Some of your video tips help this DIY guy right here. Want to say thanks? Oh, I appreciate it, man. Glad to hear it. There's a lot of DIY people that can't still do this. So I'm glad that it helped you. Tinning's one of those, those things where it's like if you're trying to tint your own car and you've never tinted before, you're gonna have a tough time. Some people can have a knack for it and do, and do pretty decent. But it's definitely a tricky thing to do. So good job, man. That's what's kind of funny about this whole thing too, is like, yeah, we're, we're showing exactly how this is done, but it takes a certain level of patience to really learn. Uh, so Johnson Baby Shampoo, and we have a soap called Dawn, Dawn Dish Soap. But that's a, a dish soap. Try just mixing around a couple of soaps. Uh, you can, like, for most films though, you don't need to be that weird about mixing soaps and stuff. Like most of the time you're fine with just using like a baby shampoo or something. It helps the film slide really easily. Um, and then it'll tack up in place when you want it to. And if it's freezing beforehand, you can try adding more soap. And if that doesn't help, then just start messing around with uh, different ratios on different types of soaps and whatnot. It'll be trial and error for you a little bit, but baby shampoo or Dawn seem to be the favorites. Also because they're easily accessible here. You can find them pretty much anywhere. So whenever you're getting tint product recommendations that sound like, oh, it's like, wait, what? You're using dish soap? Why? Well, tinning started years ago and they didn't have any tinting products. So people figured out different things that would help them out with tinting. It was all just practice trial and error. So we have like dryer sheets, baby powder, all sorts of like weird little like home remedy type things. <laughs> That's like, wait, why would you use baby shampoo? Don't you have like a installation serum or something? It's like, eh, not really. This is just where tinting came from. And it's so easily accessible that why would you use anything else? All right, let's put 
this back. Hey, Bar. We need to figure out this towel situation. I had the little bins, but I need a better one. I need to do something about used towels and whatnot. Like a basket. I also need to set up a little coffee station. Oh, I got the bag here. We're gonna put that. We're gonna put that back. Let's wipe. Clothes hamper. Can we get like a cool looking one though? And then we gotta put their seat back. We're not gonna put the seat belt in. The only reason, so this is like a personal thing. Um, for, for car seats and stuff like that, I generally don't put them back in uh, the way that they came out because I'm always, like they're complicated. And I'm always worried I'm not gonna put it in the same way and I don't wanna be responsible if something happens. So I don't do it just to be a dick. There's a good reason for it. Lime green hamper? Ooh. Now you're talking. We'll have to find something. <laughs> the GoPro is just like slouching on my head right now. It's getting really annoying. Canon. This is, this is what I'm working with right now. I need to fix this. We're basically done though. So I'm just gonna do a walk around, quick touch up, and then we'll be, we'll be done. In total, it was not bad. Things went, went very smooth on this one. It was nice to see. There was some sticking on a couple of the windows. I don't really know why it stuck more on some windows than the other ones. Doc Brown, Marty! Marty! When's the last time I was sick? Um, it's been a while. Well, like later last year, I think. I caught a cold. Like a month after we had the baby, it was like, maybe like a couple weeks or a month. I had a pretty bad cold for a little while. GoPro. It was just like felt really achy and ugh. That was no fun. All right, let's let's check this guy out. Looking pretty good. Yes, yes, they they are waiting. So we don't want to just kind of sit in front of the computer and chat for hours on end. You sure it was a cold? Oh no, not for sure. You know what was going around at the time. There was no testing though at the time either. So it was just kind of like, it might have been. But there was like, so I had something for like a week. And then there was like another instance where me and my wife, we both had like fevers for like a couple of days or for like a day. We had them for like a day or two, and then we both got them at the same time. Now that could have been it. She had to, she had to unfortunately take it. Like, this was weird too. So when, when we were having, uh, when we had to go into the hospital because she was having the baby, uh, she had to take uh, a test uh, while she was, like, right before she was admitted, she had to take a test. But what was really weird about that was I could be in the room, and I didn't have to take a test. They just, like, didn't give me one. They're like, no, just her. I was like, why? <laughs> I'm there, too. She's in pain. It should be pretty, pretty straightforward for me, too, huh? Nope. 
All righty. Looking pretty good. We're just giving it a good, making sure there's nothing weird. Where's my... Ah, no, not that. We're missing something. We're missing this, but the yellow one. I wonder if it fell out somewhere. That could have been. We have a little water pocket here. A little guy. I think, as far as I can tell, it should be it, right? Yeah, that's good. Good, 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 good. Looking pretty snazzy. So we'll take a couple pictures, and then we'll be be all good. Make sure we don't have the keys. Don't want to lock those in. I don't know if they can be locked in. I'll always take the safe route on that one. How many customers do you average in a day? Ah, it just depends. Not a ton lately. Uh, it really depends on the day. I'll be honest, if it depends on, like, there's there's a lot of impulse people, so it's like when I can, I'll be ready for, like, one of them, one or two of them in a day, and then all of a sudden it's just, like, there's people that'll call, and then it'll be, like, a ghost town for a little bit. So we're starting to get a lot more calls, especially, like, this morning. I had, like, five people all call in. But I have like some other things that I have to do too, so eh. You know how it is. Cannon. Whoa! Alright. We got some good pictures. So we're pretty much at the end. We gotta shout out a butt ton of super chats. Um, but yeah, that was the whole car. We did 20 on the front and five on the back. You guys saw. You were here. Everybody waited through the whole thing. But thank you all for tuning in for a Saturday. How well does the Superior Charcoal film shrink? Really well. Really, really well. It's very smooth. Yeah, that's a lot. How do I go through all, okay. Uh, we're in Sterling Heights, uh, Michigan. Okay, so let's go through, oh my God, Jesus. Okay, so big shout out to all the Super Chats. We have Daniel, Daniel, Miguel, LKB, LKB, Macaulay, LKB coming in with some strong ones, and then Macaulay with $100, buddy, thank you. LKB, LKB. <laughs> LKB is going to get shout out a lot. He was like most frequent super chatter of today. Tint Depot with 50. LKB Versatility with 25. LKB Muhammad. Interesting. LKB, LKB, LKB. Uh, Dr. Magic with a 10. Daniel Reyna. LKB Daniel. Daniel always, always with, the, with a bunch of them too. LKB Daniel. LKB. Mr. Mr. D Magic, 88. I got the same birth year too, buddy. Uh, and then John D. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Today was crazy. I couldn't keep up with it all. I got, that's where it's like, I, I want to set something up and then we'll have just kind of like a, you know, a chill day. And then all of a sudden we'll have a day like this and it's just like I'm unprepared. But thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate all the support. Um, and I hope you guys learned something with this. Uh, thank you for hanging out. You guys know I always appreciate anybody hanging out with here. Hanging out. Hanging out here uh, when we do these things. Or else it would just be me talking to myself. Um, if you like the stream, 
We have a Facebook group that is very active. Uh, let me type that in because I still don't copy paste it. You can go join the Facebook group and ask extra questions there. Ooh, Miguel with the 99 cent super chat. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate all of those. Coming in at the last minute with another one. I'm glad we stayed on long enough for it. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, join the, uh, join the Facebook group. Um, I'm trying to come up with something creative to do with it. Um, I, I want to do like more live streaming. Oh, I did two slashes. Dang. We need to take out one of those slashes. I'm trying to do something more creative that, that's more consistent over there. Not that, like, you guys will see when I come up with it. So, But thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Hopefully we'll have another one on Monday. Um, thank you again. Again, I'm saying it too much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.